Um, do you make a flat white? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to make a flat white. The funny thing is, is this morning when I came in here, I had some time, and I literally said, I need to learn how to make a flat white this morning, and... You know. Good morning, coffee fans. I have discovered a new coffee shop. New to me. Well, it's new, actually. About four weeks, eight weeks. I think they've been open eight weeks, they think she said. Yeah. They opened this year, anyway. 2021. Can't remember what she said. I've been there before, obviously. Just once. My sister Phoenix and I went. When I first started coming to Kentucky to see my sister, there was no coffee shops in Alexandria of any sort other than, you know, restaurants, but just to be a coffee shop itself, couldn't find any. I had to ride up to Fort Thomas, which was good coffee. I did a review. Um, so anyway, the last time I was down here... I did a search on Google Maps, as I usually do, looking for coffee, and sure enough, one popped up just down the road. So we're going to go to Brass Key Coffee. I checked. They are open. We're going to go try some coffee, check out their little shop. The last time I was there, it was the owner and her daughter was running it, and that may be the case again today. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm always excited for coffee. So grab you a good cup, sit back, and let's see what this video brings us. Believe it or not, I'm actually happy to do a short video because the next ones need to be edited, but they're going to be a bit longer. I now have quite a bit of footage that I can edit and put out on the channel. I've been kind of lacking in good footage lately. I haven't done any rides with anybody until recently. So yeah, the weather hasn't been the greatest this spring and early summer. But we're getting there now. Well, truthfully, I've been busy as well. Everybody's been busy, I think. Kind of hard to get away after working all week. And then you got chores at home to do. You know, living life and doing adult things. But I haven't missed out on any coffee that I'm aware of. I just keep drinking good coffee. Getting stuff done. Sometimes a little faster than normal. <laughs> So what good footage do I have? Well, Phoenix and I took her motorcycle up to Columbus for a service change. Or for a service, I guess I should say. Not a change. Oil change, you know. Check the valves. That was her 300 mile service. We took it up, rode back. And at that point, that's about all she had ridden was, well, no, she'd ridden less than 300 miles because I rode the first 100. Last night, Phoenix told me she has over 1,300 miles on the bike, and that's because we just finished a weekend of three days doing 670 plus miles. Not too shabby. Let's see here. 675 currently on the bike, so it was around 670. I've got 842, which is when I left Lima. You add 40 more to that. So, 880, actually about 87, 88 miles since I left Finley on Thursday morning, or afternoon rather. So, since Thursday, I've got 887 miles, thereabouts. And then I started a ticker from her place over to Summersville, West Virginia. So all of that will be up on the channel soon. If you're following my Instagram, which you should be, 
you will know that I've been in West Virginia and that right now is 4th of July weekend. This is the end of the 4th of July weekend. We're getting ready to head back to Ohio. And I say we and that's just me and the bike because Phoenix had to go to work. Yeah. But good stuff, man. I finally have some footage. Some of it's going to be long. But if you're new to the channel, let me just tell you, I sometimes will post video and a lot of it is scenery. I don't always talk all the way through everything. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have things to say. Sometimes I drink too much coffee and not too much, just, just the right amount to keep me jabbering. <laughs> but some of it's going to be scenery and just us riding. I rode with two of my sisters and my brother-in-law Paul. My brother-in-law Paul and my sister Melanie have two bikes and so Phoenix and I rode over to West Virginia and rode around West Virginia with them and we're hoping to do that again. I don't know if it'll happen this year or not but maybe next year we'll do some maybe next year I'll do a week-long adventure in West Virginia and maybe just maybe I can talk cousin Rob and some of the guys into planning their vacation around that that would be a fun trip so anyway let's get up here to Brass Key Coffee Goodness, what'd you do, man? And Bucky got away from me on the end of the truck. The lid came up, caught uh, me, took me up, went down, and hit the thing, twisted my neck, popped blood. <laughs> got out and said, You won't do that again now, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Less, you lesson you, learned, huh? What are you driving? Well, uh, Yamaha 700, left the 07. Just a little bit more. That'll do it. Yeah. I had an XS 1100 Yamaha. That's good. Nice. Beautiful shaft driven bike. I'll bet. I took that thing everywhere. Yeah. I took, even took it to Honolulu. Oh, nice. Very cool. I don't know if I can get that. Um, do you make a flat white? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to make a flat white. The funny thing is, is this morning when I came in here, I had some time and I literally said, I need to learn how to make a flat white this morning. And You know how? I should have. You know the method? It's just making a latte and you're pouring the milk in slower okay. so that the the espresso comes back up to the top form. Okay, well we'll try, try it. Try it. Okay. Charge me for a latte, I guess. <laughs> Is that a camera? Yeah. Good. Uh, okay. Yeah. I got a little YouTube channel. I Well, it isn't the YouTube, it's just that when somebody gets Oh sleep. yeah, oh yeah. It's it's always running, so yeah. even if I'm not making a video, I'm keeping safe, you know. Yeah. Keep track of stuff. Right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully it's not running now to record my confession. <laughs> why, why you try to make your flat white? <laughs> and what do you usually put in, what do you usually put in espresso-wise? Just one shot, two shot? Ours is a double shot. Double shot? Yeah. That'd be alright. Yeah. Brass key coffee. That is an awesome experience. The coffee is delicious, as I told you it would be. The coffee, delicious. The company within, even better. Brass Key Coffee. 
highly recommended in Alexandria, Kentucky. Since I have no memory for names and faces, if you stop in and the owner's working, her name's Tammy. <laughs> Maybe now I can remember her name and her face. But I taught her how to make a flat white, as least as well as I know how to make it. And it was delicious. Thank you very much, Tammy. I appreciate it. No lies. No lies within or without the shop. She'll know what I mean. So then while I was in there, I met an old vet. And we stood and had a conversation about wars and rascals and some of his travels. He used to have an old Yamaha. I think he said 1100. He took it over to Hawaii with him and rode around Honolulu while he was in the service, which that's pretty cool. That'd be fun to do. Take your motorcycle with you. That'd be the only way to go, man. That'd be fun. Yeah, very cool experience. And I can't guarantee you're going to run into anybody cool in there, but I bet you do. You just got to look around and see who's there and speak up. And let them know Coffee Guy sent you. Because now she'll know I left her a sticker. <laughs> Hopefully she checks out the channel. So I hope you all have a good day. Drink yourself some good coffee. Keep two wheels down. Be safe. I'll catch you on the next video.